The class now in the ring are the junior two-year-olds. First place award presented by Holstein Association USA. The bread and owned award presented by Locust Vista Registered Holsties, Steve Frank, Rice Lake, Wisconsin. The best daughter rosette presented by Holstein International and the Cattle Connection of Steins, the Netherlands. And the neck ribbons and medallions are presented by Jetstream Genetics of Watertown, Wisconsin.
Our judges have completed their placings in the junior two-year-old class, placing third, entry 4362, Budjan Vale Delta Lambda Thumper, exhibited by Bridger Land Holstein's MH Genetics of Newton, Utah. Second in the class was the Bread and Owned Award winner, 4357, Milk Source Audi, exhibited by Milk Source Genetics of Kakana, Wisconsin. And the winning entry and best utter in class, 4354, Poplar Vale Doc Limeade, exhibited by Elmview Farm and Firm Jacobs, Capsante, Quebec. Congratulations. <laughs> Judge Harbaugh, your comments. Well, another, another beautiful class here in our junior two-year-old class. This first cow just excels the class in balance. You just love her length to her frame, her straightness aligns. When you get right on top of these cows, she shows us more spring of both fore and rear rib. You also give the first cow the advantage today in just having a bit more balance right through the floor of her udder. But to take nothing away from our cow in second, a cow that's so angular, so dairy, so open in her rib structure today. And it's the advantage she has over that tall, long, powerful cow we have coming along in third. And just in the way she moves around the ring a little freer on her feet and legs and just prefer the shape to her udder today over this long frame cow in third. But this third cow uses her extreme length up through her head and neck, her hardness atop, her length throughout her body to place over another very balanced cow we have coming along in fourth. Also give the third cow the advantage today. She's just holding a little more quality to her udder, a little deeper in her seam today than the well-balanced cow in fourth. Fourth over fifth, it's that uh, advantage she has today in rear rudder, just a little fuller right at the top of the rear rudder, just a little more correct in her rear teeth, size, shape, and placement than the silky black cow we have coming along in fifth. Fifth over sixth, it's that advantage she has today in her strength of pasterns and her mobility, a cow that just moves around the ring a little freer today than this silky hided open rib cow we have coming along in sixth. Sixth over seventh, just prefer the length, the levelness to the floor of the udder, just a little more width right at the top of the rear rudder today on six, in sixth over this ultra stylish cow we have coming along in seventh. And then seventh over eighth, you really admire the frame of this eighth place cow. She's so long, she's so feminine and dairy, but when you get her in line, she just lacks that overall width and climb to the rear rudder of the cows we have ahead of her. But again, congratulations on a great class.